Okay, Salawam, Salawam, Kwam Yasala, Kohalo Yimla, Yahweh Basim Yawashai, Bahashim Rachach Dash, the Ba'ana Suwa Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. We just want to say the water to all the Aki Minakwa, that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Basim Yawashai to the best of their ability. Zachanan Awah is coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, yeah, my wife, he sent me this. You know, um, hey, we're getting ve really very, very close, man, to this, um, the, the ranch potato chips or them, you know, them Dorito chips or whatever you want to call it, man. The chocolate chip cookies, you know, we, we, that C-H-I-P, that grain of rice, if you, you don't understand what I'm saying, hey, look, <laughs> it's only so many words we can use for it because this so-called white man, he didn't, he didn't, he's, anchoring down on, on censoring words man out here you, you can't even say certain things now so that lets you know how critical it's getting man but let's play the video it's a little bit low pray that you can hear it and that you're edified and i'll just grab a scripture or two but hey this is all important man this is because this look like something from outer space okay so here we have um the new atms here at uva credit union of Burkmar, charlottesville virginia um Looks like they're made by Hyel Sung, but the thing that looks kind of like um, like the buildings there in Wuhan, um, China. Um, this looks like a, a bar to possibly scan your license plate or your vehicle. Um, down here we have ID card scan, I assume, for um, vaccination cards. Um, over here we have a palm vein China scan, warn which everybody. looks like uh, possible microchips. Um, and so what they're going to do is, is they're going to require mandatory vaccinations for um, all Americans and all of your children. And if you do not, you know, you know, comply with them, then they're not going to allow you to have access uh, to your money. They will take your children. Um, you will not have any kind of benefits, but they will give you the option <laughs> to opt out to give you free will to make this your own choice. OK, hey, and there you have it, man. There you have it. Let me just grab a quick scripture on it, man. Um, real simple lesson, but uh, we ought to, you know, do these things. The Lord told us to watch and pray, and he told us to also warn the flock. Now, whether you hear or forbear, it's up to you, man. So, you know, once we put the, 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 the you know, blow the trumpet and put the warning out, the blood is off our hands. Then it, now it's on your own hands. So it's... it's it will behoove you to um, take heed, man, to what's going on out here in these last days because all we have is the Lord, man. These so-called white people, they got everything. They have all the lockdown. They got, that, they got all the weapons. They can come through in a tank, whatever they need to come through in, and, and, and pick your ass up and take you to one of their, their, their concentration camps, wherever the hell they want to take you to, and you have no, absolutely no power to stop them from taking you nor your children. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? This, hey, this is getting real, man. It's getting real, real out here. Revelations 13 and 16. And you know what? Is the crazy part is the so-called white people actually be, they be on top of this and understand it and and believe it more than you so-called Negroes, man. Hispanics and Native Americans, which are the, the the children of Israel. And a lot of our people gonna fall for this, man, because they're the, you know. And I pray, I pray, man. I really do pray. You know that Yahweh by Shemuel Shai will not blow out my candlestick to remove my Holy Spirit. You know, along with any of you that are listening to this lesson, that are bringing the truth, man. Because it's gonna get hard. It's shit, man. It's gonna. <laughs> we, we don't know what it's really, really gonna be like. You know, because right now, you know, we, you know, we got food in the refrigerator right now. We got food in the cabinet. You know, be able to still jump into the vehicle and kind of go and do a few things. But when they get to the point of this shit, <laughs> then, then, then little freedoms are gonna be gone. It's gonna be gone, and it's gonna be real rough out here, man. Revelation 13 and 16, and he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark on their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Shit, man, that damn ATM machine, man, that shit look like uh, 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 controls on a on a on a on a damn jet, man, or something. You can tell it's high tech. You can clearly see it's high tech. And you see, it kind of looks like, um, I can't think of the name that he, he mentioned, but I've seen that name before on certain products. And I'm not sure if that's a South Korean company or if it's a, it's one of those Asian companies. And you know, um, um, 
so-called China, they on top of things when it comes to um, holding their citizens down. Their citizens are already compliant with um, these types of measures. And it's only going to get a, you know, more advanced. And see, America is trying to catch up to that. Now, what Joe Biden done with that, um, I want to say, executive order, I think it's 14067, that he signed um, March 9, 2022, right here, just a few months back, or whatever. Hey, they're already implementing all this stuff right here, man, in the digital world, man. They're about to get rid of that dollar. You, hey, all these, all these niggas out here, you drug dealers, all you niggas out here, you rappers, you niggas that want to put a rack up to your ear like it's a telephone, you niggas that's got 200,000 in cash under your bed mattresses, that shit going to be nothing when these people implement this um this digital stuff man it's gonna you're not gonna it's not gonna mean nothing and all you high profile negroes you you oprah winfrey's your jordans your your, your kanye's your floyd mayweather's your lebron james all you basketball players all you so-called actors your little your, your cardi b hey all of them gonna take that shit man and keep that little money that they got and they're gonna be destroyed man Let's get this Revelations 14 and 9 because this is the results of, of if you take it. That's This is the reason why you need to repent, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. You are the children of Israel, and they really want you as a perpetual slave. They've already had you for like 500 years, but they want to play God. They want to be all seeing. They want to know every move that you're making because if you get this shit in you, they're going to know everywhere you are. You're not going to be able to make a purchase. They're they, they they just going to be able to follow you. Just like they can track your phone and follow your phone right now. You see, see a phone is something that you could toss. You can throw it away or you can lose it. You can give it to somebody, you know. You can, you can attach it to a damn a stray dog in the neighborhood and let him run around with it and make the police or whoever the hell else think that you're, you're in this alley or wherever. But when it comes to what they want to put in you, that's going to be, you know, hey, <laughs> they're going to be able to, <laughs> be able to track you a lot more easily i would say and you're not going to be able to survive because your little monetary value your money your um your driver's license your social security all that paper shit they're about to get rid of all that man and you still going to your car insurance now and now these people if you put that in you they'll be your ass is just going to go to work and, and they're going to add credit to your ass like you were um <laughs> a, a, a damn game or something man Every Friday, you get a credit. He worked 40 hours this week. You get a credit. And they can mandatorily say, no, nah, well, we need you 60 hours. If you don't work at least 60 hours, you don't get your credit. And that, that can go with anything, man. You see what I'm saying? You have, you have to realize who you're dealing with. You're dealing with the cunning hunter, man. Esau Edom, the so-called white man. This man has put together a plan to track every fucking body on the planet. You trying to tell me this man is not the wicked? Because who sits around and think about stuff like that? You know, average person, man, they get up, they might have a cup of coffee. They'll make breakfast for the children, you know, and, and, and just want to just have a good day. It's sunny out, you know, just want to, you know, just probably throw some on the grill later. You know, here you go. You got a motherfucker that's sitting around that want to go to Mars. He want to go to the moon. And then at the same time, too, he wants to put a monitoring system in everybody on the planet and make them obey him. <laughs> you got to hey, You better check it out, man. Revelations 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast, if you worship in his clown and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into a cup of his indignation. And I say it all the time, man, when it comes to no mixture. You out here, man, you just taking straight shots of Jameson. Straight shots of Hennessy or whatever the, the drink is, and you don't have no no Coca Cola to go with it. You know that normal, you know the little little chicks they sit around, they want a little pineapple juice or some juice in their shit. They kind of tone the taste down, make it a little bit sweeter. You know, like these little wine coolers. This is not gonna be no wine cooler, man. This is gonna be straight from the distillery, man. <laughs> Y'all about to get busy, man. It says, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels. And in the presence of the lamb, man. And this is what's about to happen to anybody that take um, this so-called white. Because what you're going to do by you taking it, what you're saying to the Lord is, no, you're not my God. The so-called white man is. And you're going to get what that, that clown get. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, y'all better get it together and start listening, man. 
Everybody paying attention except for y'all. You riding up and down the street, motherfuckers out here, you know, riding slingshots, they're on their motorcycles, niggas on mopeds, niggas just riding through the hood every time one of these niggas roll by, you can't smell nothing but, but, but marijuana. Jake out here fussing and fighting with his woman, the woman out here fussing and fighting with him, they don't even understand that this so-called white man, he's implementing some shit to get you done dirty, and it's coming soon. Now, they're talking about December 13th, 2022. They're supposed to be kind of implementing some of this. Hey, who knows what this man is about to do? Because Joe Biden, he was put there for a reason. You may have think that you actually voted him in, but a lot of our people actually went out and voted for this guy, though, as if he was your white hope, the great white hope. But what you're about to see is this man is about to go full steam ahead with his last little year and a half or whatever amount of time it is before 2024. Now they talking about um, November elections and little stuff like that. But man, psh, this shit is already getting crazy. You're seeing too many TV, you seeing too many commercials or too many news station stories. And, and it's just, they're just blatantly telling you about it now. Cause I can remember back in the days, you said anything about something like that, I mean, niggas looking at you like, oh yeah, man, that's, that's in the future. That's gonna be about, you know, it's gonna be George Jesson. We gonna have flying cars by then. Yeah, yeah, right. As you can see, this is clearly happening right now, man. Let me get another one. Second Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. See, we're not ignorant of this man's devices. We're not ignorant of the fact that this man wants to perpetually enslave us forever. He doesn't want us to be a part of our power no more. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. This man is trying to be our power. He's trying to be uh, our power. He wants to be our power. That's why this motherfucker got a camera everywhere, man. You want to look down on everything. want to see everything that you're doing. If it was up to him, he'd be tracking all your, 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 um, your transactions everywhere you go. That's why a lot of the times, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's easier, and that's what they're going to try and make it seem like. It's easier and more convenient to use this. Because it's, you know, a lot of people, they don't really carry cash like that no more. They'll swipe their card. They'll put the little chip, you know, they got the little hookup where you can just put your card up on it. And, and, and it'll automatically um, approve your little transaction. It's easier. A lot of people don't carry cash like that no more. But it would be wise of you to keep some cash on you, man, and pay for a lot of stuff with cash. That way these motherfuckers don't know he's at this gas station at 313 on Thursday. Now they can put a camera to you. Because all they got to do is go back to that camera work. See, they, they got live feed going on all over the place now. Now, in China, it's way different. Over in China, they, they, they have a lot more control over their citizens. But see, in America, they're a little bit behind. Though, they can still do that same thing. They can, you know, especially the FBI, CIA, you know, your little regular police force, you know, sometimes they got to get... Some call, they'll call them one of those agencies and say, hey, we need a, some help on a particular crime. And they can get, you know, they might go off in there, push a couple of keystrokes. And now all of a sudden, OK, we see that he was over here on this street at 221 a.m. And he made a left this way. He went there on a the right and then they'll just scale through all the cameras that may be within miles of that radius. And they'll run your car down, man. Get the searching. Well, this is, was the last feed that we got. Or, you know, of course, the, they want to monitor everything from the car and everything. That's why they got all these damn sensors and boxes and talking about chip shortages and all this other stuff. Because all the new cars, they, if you got a new car, oh, yeah, they, they really on your ass. That's a tracking system in itself to go right along with your phone. So as soon as you hop out of the car that they've tra tra tracked down, you know, now, now they're on top of your phone. And then, you know, this was his last location. I'm, I'm, he's pinging from here. But see, they know that the average person can throw that phone away. So now they're getting to a point of, no, nope, we're about to. And we're going to know if you try and take this shit out of you. They're going to try and put that that grain of rice in you, that potato chip in you. And, and, and if you try and get it out of you, which is going to be what a lot of so-called criminals are going to do, it, you know, when they get into some shit, because. These criminals going to figure they're going to try and figure out a way around a lot of this stuff, just like they've always done. They've always done that. 
I can remember back in the days, man, when they used to give you food stamps, it used to be booklets. They'll give you a booklet, they give you booklets of food stamps, and you tear them little coupons off out of the book, go to the store and pay for them. So what Jake was doing was, they was going, and, and, and you know, you might buy like uh, something that costs 25 cents, but you'll get 75 cents of real money back. I remember when, when, when Jake was doing stuff like that. Then they went from that, people were selling the food stamps, you know what I'm saying? They was like, oh, well, I'll give you, you know, because um, I think they used to come in like $65 booklets. And, and for a $65 booklet, a person might get $40 in real cash or $45, $50 in real cash or whatever, you know, they was agreeing to do. But they'll get real cash and give them booklets to somebody else, which would, you know, take that extra $20 that they basically made and go and, you know, shop for some extra food. It's the same way with the... um. Your average food stamp card or your EBT card or your SNAP card, whatever they call it, wherever you are. You know, that's what people do here. I see people all the time. Every time I go to the, um, the supermarket, it's generally people in there. They like you about to buy food, unk. Because what they want you to do is, is, you know, they may offer you, OK, well, what you about to get? So you may be about to get about forty dollars worth of food, but they'll hook you up with that forty dollars off that card for, for maybe twenty dollars. In cash. Oh, I got you. You throw them a little $20 bill. You got $40 worth of food. Whatever, you know, it, it depends on who you're dealing with and how desperate they are. But, you know, that's what Jake done done. See, so Jake been up in the game on them every single time they done done something. So it's going to try. They're going to try and do that with this this potato chip. And it's not going to work. They're going to be on top of this a lot more these days. See, they done all, they've already assessed all that stuff. They done already seen all the games that's being played. They understand what's going on. It's like. You'll have Jake at the gas station. It's, well, I haven't been seeing him as of late, but especially, you know, Jake will go to the, be at the gas station with some other niggas credit card. Basically, <laughs> or it, it, it'll be with their credit card, though, a lot of the times. But they'll, you know, all right, you about to get gas. And then all they want is just cash straight up. I don't know why they don't just go to the um, ATM. But a lot of the times they've been stole some credit cards or somebody shit before they get to, the, you know, get game on it, you know. Or they'll, you know, come across some goddamn crackhead or something or whatever. And, and it, you know, you get a lot more gas for the price that you're spending. So it's the same old thing, man. So Jake is going to try and, fig try and figure a way out of this. And it's not going to be a way out of it, man. Because everybody is going to be tempted in that day. Everybody going to get a part of that temptation, man. It's lucky for the noise. Same dude, man. Ride up all damn day long with that loud ass car. But anyway. The so-called white man, trust me, their think tanks have put in all the math. It's not going to be as easy for Jake to run around out here and try and um, pull all the bullshit that they normally pull to, to survive. Because, you know, um, now, hey, <laughs> it could be some extortion, some damn kidnappings. <laughs> I'm going to kidnap your kid until you go do this, 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 this and this. You're going to go and you're going to swipe your hand and you're going to get me all the groceries I need. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to kill your babies, you know. So it's going to be some stuff going on, you know, but it's just going to be a rough world, man. It's going to be really, really rough out here. And then that's going to be like, man, it's so many scenarios to that. So many scenarios, man. And it's going to be real bad for, like I said, the women, man, because they're the ones dealing with the children. And they're the ones giving it. See, you already a part of their system already by you t accepting their food stamps. You're dependent upon them. It's like a drug dealer with the drug, man. You doing all the all the all the things that they want you to do. If you don't do it, you don't get your fix. So Esau Edom then set it up where the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native American women, you know, you're on the dolo by yourself with three or four kids. He's giving you your food stamps so you can eat throughout the month. He's giving you your um, your Section 8. You're not paying no damn rent where you can live with shelter every month. You know, you're getting the um, free water, electricity, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But when it straight comes down to it, <laughs> this man is going to say, hey, look, you're going to if you want to continue with these freedoms or these benefits, then you're going to come on down, you and your children, and you're going to have to take this thing thing. And we'll continue on giving you your universal income, so to speak. So it's about to get buck wild out here, man. We keep saying it. We keep warning the flock. 
we're going to keep on doing it too because these are part of the main prophecies man these are part of the main prophecies we can't just stop on this man i know it's you know it gets repetitious but hey we got to do it <laughs> we got to do it we got to keep on warning man because it may be somebody that may be listening to the video today that that that, that never heard of uh, of this before you know and, and the lord he's going to direct all traffic towards any videos or any lessons that he wants them to hear because man's goings of y'all about shimmy i was shy they're going to pick up on the lord if the lord wants you and he's elected you then he's going to send you to where you you need to go we all have our path man we all have our path and that's a beautiful thing man we all gotta you know we praying to y'all about shimmy i was shy that are you know our lot we'll we're gonna be able to handle our lot regardless whatever he wants from us we're gonna be able to do it man it's just that simple so they keep your head on the swivel the scripture says to watch and pray watch and pray you gotta watch and pray man what are you watching for we're watching for shit like this man because this right here this is a crazy this is a crazy looking ass atm machine man and it's got everything on there so here we have it's got everything on there <laughs> for real man you already know that big ass screen is it's you know facial recognition Oh, hi, Mr. Jones. You're just going to already know who you are when you walk up. What would you like to do today? They're going to already know if your ass and took all them 20 booster shots. You know, we see that you're, you're not updated. They have um, your, and, and going to remind you, next week, Mr. Jones, you know that you have your um, next booster coming. <laughs> going to be on top of everything. Yes, Mr. Jones, we're going to be taking um, your payment for your car insurance this week. And you seem to be low on credits. No, I'm telling you, man, this, <laughs> I ain't no telling what this man about to do because he's a, he's a wild. Look, Esau is the cunning hunter. That boy is a wild man, man. That's a wild boy. So like I said again, man, keep your head on the swivel out here. Don't get caught, man. Don't get caught up because the Lord said he's going to come like a thief in the night. He's coming like a thief in the night. And, and, and getting caught off guard, it's going to be serious, man. Getting caught off guard. A lot of Jake going to get caught off guard. So with that, hey, <laughs> hey, that, hey this machine just looks so crazy, man. This shit look like a hand will reach out and pull you in. <laughs> hey, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashola.